Hello, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining this channel. I hope you're all in perfect health and that you're all doing well. Times are not easy. International travel is disrupted. Many borders remain closed and restrictions persist, inhibiting moving about. Nonetheless, what seems negative can be seen as an opportunity. You can transform it into an opportunity. For instance, to discover or rediscover your neighborhood, your close environment, your city, your region, and see it with new eyes. That's what I've been doing for the last month. And I must admit, it's been a great joy to have some walks around Brussels, in the outskirts of the city. And uh, especially at that time, I was enjoying toying with my new camera, which, as you see, is a Canon EOS R5. Very nice camera. And, uh, yeah, that means that I'm combining an everyday walk with taking some photographs. And that helps you to keep your mind relaxed and happy. So photography is about that. Express yourself and, uh, yes, be in peace with yourself. Try to connect with the outside world, maybe with nature, maybe with people, maybe with an architectural environment. I also bought a couple of uh, RF lenses, not too expensive. Uh, my favorite is the 35mm f1.8. I quite like it. Good build, good quality, also good image quality, and uh, also with image stabilization. And uh, it's a good size. So it's a good combo if you want to travel, if you want to walk, it's uh, light, it's not heavy, and it is small, you can just plunk it in your, in your bag quite easy. So, enough talk, let's go to practice. I'm in a park in Brussels. And I saw this nice tree, a uh, green tree with uh, beautiful branches and uh, stacked leaves. So I'm going to try to take a photograph with my Canon EOS R5, coupled with my Canon EF 35mm f1.8. So I'm filming here with the EOS R5. And you can see those uh, beautiful leaves stacked one uh, above the other. And I'm looking for a nice composition. The 35 millimeter is also a kind of macro, one to two. And uh, I would like to have a nice blurred background and an elegant um, movement like this one. And I think the result is nice also with this uh, branch and uh, I like the, the creamy background. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, when I had my EOS 5D Mark IV, I had several EF lenses. And uh, for instance, the 70 to 200, or one of my favorites with the macro lens, the 100 millimeter with uh, image stabilization. But the good thing about the uh, R system is that can, you can adapt to the RF mount. Of course, there was a problem at the beginning with the, I mean, <laughs> with the logistics. And uh, it was not easy to find a Canon adapter. But uh, yes, 
I managed to find one. And uh, this is the one. So it's about oh, less than two centimeter here. And it is a weather seal here, as you can see. That's a very com good point. And it costs about 100 euros. Yeah. Now, before I was able to, to get that, I had to wait about one month, one and a half months before having this adapter. I had an alternative solution with a third party adapter. And uh, well, it cost me about the same price, the difference is that you have a, an extra ring here that enables you, I mean, to to set a function, let's say for ISO, I used it for ISO. The only setback, uh, the only problem is it isn't weather sealed. So that's a big difference with the, with the cannon. Here behind you have that ring on the gasket. On this one, you don't have it. Otherwise, uh, it works perfectly well. So I went back to the same park, but now instead of coupling it with my RF 35 millimeters, I'm going to use the 100 millimeters F 2.8 with uh, image stabilization and uh, combined with the adapter. And uh, I was uh, quite pleased with the result. Yes. The background is uh, very nice. Uh, the combo with the adapter and the AEF it was very good. So then I went uh, somewhere else in the following week and I went to the Forêt de Soigne, which is a wood in the outskirts of Brussels. It's very nice to see, uh, to watch birds uh, like this uh, blue tit or other animals like squirrels. Yes, it is so nice to be in the woods here, in the outskirts of brothels. This is the Forêt de Soigne, the Swine Forest. If you want peace, so just come here. It is so nice to enjoy nature, to take some photographs, to watch animals, birds, squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. So now I'm going to use the first version of the Canon EF 100 to 400 millimeters photographing the squirrel. And uh, now with the same lens, with the same zoom, watching this wren. Very pleased with the results. The autofocus is good. So the weather is getting better and better. We are already deep into spring and uh, we have lovely weather. So I'm having another walk, enjoying the view of those uh, beautiful flowers. And I'm going to photograph them or others with my EF 100 millimeter macro and uh, yes, these beautiful blossoms. It's a real joy to watch them and to fix them into a photograph, a picture. And uh, I'm also happy with the result, the combo R5 with the 100 millimeters. So I would like to take a photograph of these flowers. I would like everything to be sharp from uh, front to back or to back from front because uh, in macro mode well you can't have everything uh, in focus you need to use uh, focus bracketing so you have a function with your eos r5 and uh, you just go on your menu and you activate your focus bracketing mode so so it is in french but that's my uh, ordinary language everyday language and you also select your number of uh, shots 
the desired shot. It could be 10, it could be 12, it could be 15 and uh, even more. So you select, you put OK and I selected 12. And uh, also your, you have your kind of a sensitivity, palier mise au point. And um, I'm putting a low number. So for me it is OK. And uh, yes, I'm going to smooth the, the exposure. So to have something well, relatively regular from one photo to another, because you will have to stack them later on. Okay, that's done. So I put myself in manual mode. I prefer to do that. Of course, the camera is on a tripod. And uh, yes, you select your point, focus point, and the camera does the job of uh, taking several photographs with the electronic uh, shutter mode. Now you put everything into your DPP uh, software. That's uh, the one that Canon provides when you buy uh, an EOS uh, product. But you see it takes some uh, time to stack all the photographs together. It took me about uh, 25 minutes for, well, I would say, <laughs> when I choose for 20 uh, photographs because this is the result when I take 25 uh, photographs I tried first with 12 and it wasn't that uh, okay now I chose 25 photographs and it seems to be uh, sharp enough uh, for me well you need a lot of practice for that one You can adapt an EFS lens on your R5, then it switches automatically on the crop mode and uh, yes, you get some good uh, results and uh, this is what you obtain. So of course the resolution is much lower, less than 20 megapixels, but when you compare it to the Canon EOS 7D Mark II, you get, uh, yes, similar results. This is on the left with the R5 and on the right with the 7D Mark II. And you will see that the results are quite similar. So back in the woods, this time in the northern part of Brussels. The previous time it was in the south of Brussels. So I'm walking by a nice, lovely pond where you can watch many ducks like these um, looking for some food uh, looking for some uh, maybe some fish I don't really know they're looking for something and the autofocus works well pretty well and I'm pleased with the result I'm working here with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens so quite happy with this one And as the spring is very nice, I'm going for another walk, watching magpies. The autofocus with uh, animal detection and eye detection is quite good. And uh, I couldn't resist to take a photograph. And uh, when you crop it, the result is still pleasing. Even in windy conditions as now, you can see that the tracking mode of the autofocus works very well, pretty well, and uh, that enables you to take some uh, photographs even in those difficult conditions. As you can see on this uh, picture, everything is sharp, and uh, also in this condition, it is not as windy as uh, in the previous uh, sequence, but uh, you can take some uh, good photographs with the tracking mode and the servo. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to make a test comparing three lenses. And uh, I'm in the Chinese pavilion. And I'm going to try the Canon RF 35mm. 
1.8. Then the size, F2, size 35 millimeter, F2. And uh, then the Sigma Art, 1.4. Three very good lenses. And uh, yes, I like the, the place here at the Chinese pavilion and the two Japanese, the Japanese tower. So the purpose is to photograph this, this wooden wood craft, very nice. And uh, as you can see, the results with the three lenses are very good. I'm very happy with the sharpness of uh, those three lenses and uh, quite surprised with the 35 millimeter RF. So then uh, that 35 millimeter F 1.8 is going to be my walk around lens, especially as it is also a kind of macro. So please. And to conclude, the Canon EOS R5 is a very pleasant camera to toy with. I really enjoyed walking with it and taking some uh, career photographs using also the RF 35 millimeters. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you another day. Goodbye.